claims that the Bible is from God. The Bible, the Old Testament, is from ano um, anonymous authors. Um, Does it make sense? So the claim is being made by individuals who are claiming to be inspired by the Holy Spirit. How do you explain then in the Gospels where Jesus quotes scripture and says scripture says and then he immediately says why are you ignoring the word of God? So if Jesus himself calls scripture the word of God and if you believe and I think you do believe that Jesus is, is a true prophet from God then what, are you what? saying that Jesus is lying? I believe that Jesus Christ is being misquoted. For example, is Jesus Christ God or is he sent by God? Sorry? Is Jesus Christ Jesus. God? Or sent by God. Well, I mean, our understanding of the New Testament was, would show that, for, of his own words, would show that he is both. He's, He's God both. the Son, sent by God the Father, but he is God in himself. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I was just going to say, when the Pharisees do actually, um, the reason they get angry at one point is because they understand that what he's No, no, we'll get there. I, I, I've been saying, I've had this conversation many times. You've made a false statement there. God the Son. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Did you hear him say, God the Son? Yeah? Yeah. No, in the Bible does it say God the Son. Prove me wrong. No, I'm, I'm willing says, to be educated. It says the Son, yes. So it doesn't say God the Son. Well, then why would you say that? It's a bit dishonest, the Bible isn't it? Both have places where Jesus Himself is called God. No, no, like, no, 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 no. You made a claim, right? Yeah. You're saying it says Jesus Christ said, and then you're saying God the Son, mm -hmm. right? So. I mean, God the Son is a theological term, which I'm sure you know, Council of Nicaea and all, and all that, 4th century, 5th century. So they you're diluting the term, your point. They use the term God the Son, but the concept, the concept is in the Bible, even if the technical so term is something The words that isn't there. It, well, yeah. actually both God and the Son are in there, and they're both applied to Jesus. So, who? And the let, God let, the let's Son not play these games. Let, let's be honest. I'm not playing games. I mean, I'm, I'm speaking, let me finish what I'm saying. Okay. Yeah. Just because individual words are in the Bible, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a massive difference between God, the Son, and Son of God. I, I agree, That's because okay. the Son of God is used also for human kings, for example, Psalm 2. That's my point. That's the point I was going to make. And I agree with you. That's why I'm making, that's why I use the term God the Son rather than Son of God. Okay. Because I know So that exactly. term, yeah. who uses that term? Jesus Christ never used that term. Because right at the beginning of the conversation, we were saying Jesus Christ said himself. What did Jesus Christ teach? And then you made a claim um, uh, that he's God as well as Son of God and he's God the Son. But these are terms he's never used. He's never said he's God the Son and he never claimed to be God. Now, someone who's very well versed with the Bible, and I'll be honest with you, um, it's been a number of years since I've had the opportunity to speak to someone who's actually familiarized themselves with the Bible and who's brought the Bible to the conversation. I've found that majority of the times, Muslims are more well versed with the Bible than Christians. So I'm glad that you brought the Bible. And then I would like you to actually show me in the statements of Jesus Christ himself, where he claims to be God. Can I ask you another question? Yeah. Because from what I know of Islam, you guys believe that God ultimately is supreme, which we do believe as well. We believe He is supreme, including in how He chooses to reveal Himself. So, yeah? so, so, so. He is supreme. God is supreme. Yeah. What, what's your name, by the way? Philip. Philip, Philip. Ridwan. Nice your name, sir? Uh, Rhys. Rhys. No problem. <laughs> Salam alaikum. Salam alaikum. Your name, sir? <laughs> you know my name. Yeah. Including being supreme in how he chooses Sir. to reveal himself. Listen to me. No, 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 no. You're interrupting me because I've asked the question. Yeah, you, can, is, you can, you can. No, 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 no. Stop. I know what you're going to say. You can, can say to me. Can you I say can. To me yeah. What I'm going to say? I can. Can you say it now? Yeah. And then if it's not, I'll, I'll say. What Hold, I'm on. Going to say. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. We're going to move this step, this conversation, <laughs> step by step. So right now, I've given a premise. Yeah. Yes. And I'm. And now you can say to me that. I'm either right or I'm wrong, and then you can make a counterclaim. Right now, you can't move straight to your counterclaim and say, well, he doesn't need to use those terms because somewhere else he's used ambiguous terms. Uh -huh. We can get to the ambiguous terms. Okay. Let's first say that Jesus Christ never categorically himself said that he is God or he's sent by God. Okay, if you, be, if you buy that, you mean the literal statement of... Sorry, 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 I made a mistake. He says he's sent by God. Nowhere in the entire Bible does he ever claim to be God or does he say worship me? That's okay. my claim. So, 
if by that you mean the literal words, I am God, I agree. Jesus never literally said the three words, I am God, or in Greek, it will be two words. Amy, hofe, actually still three words, Amy, hofeos, I am God. So that I agree with. Now can I have my counter challenge? Before that, uh, but, but, as well as he never said, worship me. Can you show me a single verse yeah. in the entire Bible where Jesus Christ himself, in red letter, says, worship me? That I also agree with. If your criteria is, did he ever say the literal words, worship me? No, he did not say that literally like that. That's right. Now, sir, okay. you can make your point. Let me make my point. Because you guys believe, and we do, actually, we all believe that God is supreme including supreme in how he chooses to reveal himself, right? No, we don't, no, 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 no. We don't believe how he reveals As in, he, is, he chooses we, we how know, he reveals no, himself. We, we, give me, give me we, one second, okay. Give me one second, bro. So I, would, I would say, exactly. one, one moment, yeah. one moment. Let's start the conversation. You've never met me, I've never met you. So don't assume what I believe, okay? I'll tell you what I believe. Okay, but let me just say, let me just... So you can ask me what yeah. I believe and I'm happy to tell okay. you. Okay, do you believe that God is sovereign, he chooses, as in he ultimately is the one who makes choices, and he can choose how he chooses to reveal himself. Elaborate. So, I mean, he can choose to reveal himself, for example, by sending the Prophet Muhammad. He chose to reveal through that as his final prophet. I mean, he could have chosen someone else, but he chooses, chooses the Prophet but Muhammad. What, what you're, how you're using the word, we don't actually agree with. We, 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 never, we would never say that um, God chose to reveal himself. Do you understand? God has attributes with, uh, which was given to yeah, uh, Prophet Muhammad and he's the one who explained what these attributes are. Do you understand? Okay. We don't really say however you're questioning it. I think your, your whole premise is all wrong. So he chooses how we understand Habibi, it. The point, the point he's trying to make, he's not making such a deep philosophical, uh, yeah, yeah. theological point. Yeah. The point he's going to make is, right, that it's up to God how yes. God reveals himself yes. and if God reveals him chooses not to use those exact terms he doesn't have to exactly. and my counter argument to that would be and by the way I agree God is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Allah Almighty yeah? Yeah. Um, is supreme over how he decides to articulate himself exactly. um, how he decides to uh, portray the message of Islam to the, the through messages like you mentioned specifically the prophet Muhammad Jesus mm -hmm. Moses yeah. Abraham yeah and I think however yeah. Yeah. that being said the point I'm trying to make is um, trying to understand your belief yes. and why you choose to believe what you believe yes. so, so I'm happy yeah, yeah, let me let me just clarify one thing yeah so your belief that Jesus Christ is God isn't something categorically taught by Jesus Christ that I disagree with because Correct me, that's fine. Categorically true does not mean he must have said the words I am God for it to be categorically true. Categorically in, true in means that me. by his actions and words, if the only way that Listen to me, sir, what did I say? Can, 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 he didn't he, he, no, no, you, you have miss, not listened to me to make the whole argument. No, no, so you misunderstood my point. Can, he can I at least make my point? Before, yeah, go for it. Yeah, go for it. Go for it. Yeah, no, no, that's fine. Think my point is before I leave no, no, you've misrepresented my point, but that's fine, I'll let okay. you finish. Because my point is if by Jesus' actions and words, including how he describes himself, if they actually are meant to point you towards the fact that he is God. So if, for example, you said, did Jesus ever say, worship me? No, he did not. But did Jesus ever accept people worshiping him? Yes, we do find that happening. Thomas. In, so we, 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 we'll John get there, we'll 20, get there. 21. I'm just gonna amend the statement you made. I don't know if okay. you've done it intentionally or unintentionally. Okay. You're contradicting yourself. Okay, you said statement. in actions and in statements. We've yes. already agreed he hasn't made any statements so of is, divinity. Statement. So then you're, you can't, you can't one moment and say, you agree that he never categorically made a statement, he's got to worship me. Then say, he done actions and made statements. What statements did he make? So he didn't categorically say it. How did he say it indirectly? And actually, I'm happy to build yes. on points. Yes. And by indi actually indirectly. I'm going to lower the bar. Okay. Let's see how low you want the bar. So, John, John 10, what did Jesus say in John 10? I don't know, you tell me. He said, I am the good shepherd, the good shepherd lays down his life for the sheep. Now, Jesus, I mean, can, can I just continue my point? Sorry, I'll just... Yeah. 
okay? Now, there is, I mean, do you know that there's only one shepherd in the old, in the whole Old Testament? Jesus in that, throughout John's Gospel says, he's here to fulfill the Old Testament and the scriptures about him. Do you know who is the good shepherd in the Old Testament? There's only one good shepherd in the Old Testament from Ezekiel. Okay. So, let, let, I've, I've heard this argument before. Okay. Okay. Now, <coughs> before we go into parables and you reading into meanings, yeah, respond to John 17 3, which is a categorical verse. Yes, and I can... Please, please, yes. please. Um, I mean, John said... For God so loved... No, no, sorry. No. Uh, for eternal life that they may know the only true God yes. and Jesus Christ oh, whom yes. thou yes. hast sent. Yes. So how many gods are there? That's one God. Thank you. Yes. <coughs> yes. I'm listening. Well, John 17, 3 is not the only thing in John 17. But you've got the explicit John statement. No, no, that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. Yes. And then you've got the implicit statement. What your, your No, let him, let him, let him. I want to see how he digs yeah. himself out of this situation. Yes. So, in John 17, 3, he continues to say, I glorified you, the Father, on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. I've manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were, you gave them to me, and you kept your word. And then later, he would then go on to say... So, okay, do you want to stop places? So, I want the audio to catch yes. what he's reading. Oh, you can stand there, you can carry on. Wow. I mean, I'm more interested... No, I want, I want, I want to be respectful, because you're reading the scripture, yeah. and you're making a point, and I want the audio to be cool. Because the background noise is low, you can't really hear it. Yes. So he said, I glorified you on earth, having accomplished the work that you gave me to do. And now, Father, glorify me in your own presence with the glory that I had with you before the world existed. So, the Father, we know that, I mean, he's addressing the Father and he, the you is both the only true God and the Father. So we know definitely the Father refers to the only true God. And now Jesus Christ, whom you sent, of course, he's referring to himself because that's who he is. But then he uses a different term and says, glorify me. In fact, he, he talks about glorify your son, that the son may glorify you. And this glory that the son has is the same glory he as says, the father glorify before. your son. Yes, glorify your son. That well, the what son, version is this? This is the ESV. I can pull out the Greek. I've got the Greek as well on my phone if you want, which is the origin of Do you understand Greek? Yes, I learn Greek and Hebrew. Well, we're both learning Greek and Hebrew, actually. That's amazing. What language did Jesus Christ speak? Um, both Greek and Aramaic. Because as a first both century... Both Greek Jew, and Aramaic? No, never spoken Greek. Well, actually, if you look at scholars, particularly... What scholars, sir? Um, well, Peter Williams was one of them. He's in Cambridge. He's a Cambridge professor. Of, and what did he say? Well, he says, actually, quite likely that... Quite likely. Wait, 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 no, 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 wait, 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 wait. What did he say? Well, actually, I mean, literal words, I can't quote him verbatim for you. That's fine. But... Um, Approximately, what did he say? Jesus well, Christ spoke what language? Most spotters, No, no, you quoted yeah. a Cambridge um, yeah. scholar, I can, professor. I, I, mean, I, can, I can search him up if you really want a verbatim okay. quote. <laughs> no, 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 I don't need to know who he is. Before I know As who he is, quote, yes. I didn't ask for a verbatim quote. Okay. What did he say? What are you attributing to him? So most scholars actually... Uh, what did he say? You're saying most scholars. Yeah, what did yeah. he say? Well, you, you, you so lovely dropped Jesus, oh, okay. Cambridge University. Yeah. So now I'm challenging you on that. Well, Jesus uh, most likely knew both Aramaic and, and well, definitely Aramaic and also most likely Greek. Koine That's Greek. what that professor from um, Cambridge University said. Yeah. Show me that. Please. Well, let me... Um... Sir, I'm going to be honest with you. I'm going to wrap up this conversation. I'm going to give you one more chance to... Un um... By the way, this is not the most important thing because... I no, mean... no, sir, let me finish. Yeah. You've been caught out lying several times. Okay, and I'll be honest with you, I, I, find you, I find you quite dishonest. Okay. Yeah. Where? The recording is there. Yeah? Okay. Many times you've said things, you've misrepresenting statements and... And I, and I clarified, one moment you're saying um, God the Son, Jesus Christ made that claim, then you're saying he didn't say Actually, that. I did not. I have never said that. When I, when so, I so, used so, the so. term God the Son, I we've, did we've not had say that conversation. I want to see God your reference. Son. Cambridge um, Professor of Cambridge. Tinder Bulletin. Um, 
Okay, this is Tyndale House, the Cambridge Research Centre for Bible Studies. This is that research paper. This paper argues against the generic scholarly consensus that Jesus not only... So you're going on a Christian website from a Christian article, okay, that quotes a professor from Cambridge who said Jesus Christ spoke... Um, Actually, uh, let me see. Um, please, please do. Because I, I, I specialize in this. This is, this is a point that people don't make. Jesus, by, Jesus Christ spoke Aramaic. I definitely agree that he spoke uh, Aramaic. Even, he and he didn't speak any other languages. Yeah. Because yeah. you could... Hebrew, the disciples spoke it. For him yeah. to speak the master race, where the ruling race, excuse me, would be a bit, a bit challenging. So on that point, to be honest, this is not the thank you very much. This is not the most important point as to whether Jesus really spoke in Koine Greek. No, no, you made it with such confidence. I say he most likely that even actually, if you play back the recording, we need Jesus likely also. No, you, you made that statement, but you claim that a professor from Cambridge University stated that he spoke other languages than Aramaic. As so in, I'm happy he, to move I, on. In, as in, exactly, he mo he likely spoke, but even the no, 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 no. No, 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 I mean, no, play no. the recording. It's no so one, likely. no professor would ever say he spoke any other language than Aramaic. Okay. Specifically, 100% certain they wouldn't claim that he spoke um, Greek. Greek. What is Greek? He didn't speak Greek. So why do you think really that he might... But Habibi, give me, yeah. give me one second, because what I want to do, I want to give you the opportunity. You can find your references. He's going to continue the conversation. But I just want to see your response. So, yes. Um, so here, we know he certainly talked in Aramaic. But the thing is, you, I mean, even if you read the research article, that this, I think, argues for the other position. Give, give me one second, sir. Sir, leave that. My brother here is going to continue this conversation from this moment. I want you to reference um, John 17.3, and then we're going to get back to this. Or do you want to get finish this, and then I'll come back? Because I'll be honest with you. I'm just going to give that one. This, this conversation is not sincere. I mean, I mean, look at the abstract of this research article. It says, Why he's going to the general, the the general scholarly consensus is that he's Jesus not only Hebrew has sufficient linguistic and competence Greek, to converse with others but in Greek, but, but also even to teach in Greek during his ministry. So this, uh, this paper actually argues for your view, which is that he did not know Greek. But however, it I does agree. quote the general, general scholarly consensus that Jesus did know Greek, which means actually most scholars, even though you, you and this person would disagree. Actually, most scholars believe that he did. Sir, no sir you're, you're diluting the point. The point was, the you point. is that a um, the professor? Is that a professor from Cambridge University? Well, I mean, I need to refine it. I mean, I just Google you made search. a claim, sir. Yes. <laughs> so it makes sense. Yeah, now uh, you're Google searching it. So no professor from. This is my point. You're not honest. Does that make sense? And okay. this will be the third time. And with me, I have a rule: third time strike. You're out. Sorry. So you know, I'm out of the conversation. You know what? I, I know this professor personally, so if you really want me to ask him, write an email to him and ask him to reply, I can do that. He can't reply right now within the conversation of this, these cameras. So for the he benefit of, the of this week. conversation, yeah. because this will be technically, potentially your third lie, yeah. Or potentially you are just using a straw man argument and not waiting for another week because otherwise I could have gone. No, no, because I have, I, have no, I have no reason because to believe Because I studied you. in Cambridge and I've met this professor. I know which church he is from. I have seen and talked with him. If you, if you say so, sir. But anyways, well, John 17.3. Because I think we've laid that to rest. Yeah. John 17.3. Oh, no, no, I'll just go, I'll go in a second, are you? Yes, I also need to go in a second. So, um, what time is it? Enlighten me before you go, sir. John 17, So, brief. my understanding of John 17, And by the way, sorry, sir, you've already read it twice. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, my you have My understanding is that Jesus is not saying that he is, he is definitely, he's not himself God. But rather, he's directing people to say, the way that we know the truly true God is precisely by knowing Jesus Christ, whom we have sent, because he's the one who shows the Father, shows the Father. Has he not? Has he not? Has he not differentiated himself from the only true God and said that he's sent by God? You quoted ambiguous verses. You've read meaning into those verses beforehand, and now we've got a clear categorical verse where Jesus Christ Himself is saying, 
the um, only true God and he was sent by that God. Yeah? Yeah, yeah. And this gentleman, he will give you a run we for your money him. when it comes to <laughs> Greek. We met each other in Oxford, if you remember. Ah, in Oxford. Yeah. He, know, he knows Greek. Uh, hey, how you doing? He knows Greek. Yeah, 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 he knows Greek. Yeah. 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 Um, you were saying that he accepts worship. Yes. He didn't even allow people to call him good, yeah. let alone accepting worship. Yeah. So on but, that note, but, sir... Do you think I might be having a rhetorical question? It can't be rhetorical. Says, you know why it's not rhetorical? Mashallah! Because the grammar... Bismillah, bismillah. Because the grammar would only entail that if he said, <laughs> no, 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 do you no. know why you call me good? I, I, I want to just consider this momentarily. In order for your point to be valid from Mark 10, 17, 18, that it was a rhetorical question, then the point would be that he would say grammatically, do you know why you call